before I address this semi-blasphemous comment about God showing partiality, um, I'm just going to point out the fact that you asked me to bring scripture and I've given you nothing but. I mean, in the last video I made to you, I probably referenced 40 passages from Old and New Testament. And all you did with that information is say, nope, doesn't apply to me, even though it absolutely says that it applies to you. You're just willfully ignoring the facts. But in regards to your other comment about why God chose his own people, let me show you. If you actually read the Bible, these questions are answered for you. Deuteronomy chapter 9, not because of your righteousness or the uprightness of your heart are you going in to possess the land, but because of the wickedness of these nations, the Lord your God is driving them out from before you. God made a promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he made that promise because they were completely obedient and faithful to him. And when he kept that promise, he told them, hey, the other nations are more wicked than you, but by like a little bit. So don't think you're anything special. Then he goes on to give them the law so that they can stop being wicked. And they do the exact thing that you're doing in all your videos saying, we don't need to do that. We're your people. Clearly, we can do whatever's right in our own heart and eyes and ignore your commandments and there won't be any consequences. If you actually read the Old Testament, you'll find out about how well that went for them. Micah chapter 7, about God's people, and there is nothing new under the sun, mind you. The best of them is like a briar, the most upright of them a thorn hedge. The day of your watchman, of your punishment has come. Now their confusion is at hand. They're confused. They'll be confused on Judgment Day because they were not upright. They didn't listen to God. They didn't heed his warnings. They said, Jesus paid for it all. So now that's my excuse why I don't need to obey you, even though Jesus said a lot of times you need to obey him. Malachi chapter 2, For the lips of the priest should guard knowledge, and people should seek instruction from his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But you have turned aside from the way. You have caused many to stumble by your instruction. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. And so I make you despised and abased before the people inasmuch as you do not keep my ways, but show partiality in your instruction. Which is exactly what you are doing, Jacob. Jeremiah chapter 6, To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears are uncircumcised, they cannot listen. Behold, the word of the Lord is to them an object of scorn, they take no pleasure in it. Seems to me a lot of you aren't taking very much pleasure in God's commandments and right rulings. It also seems like y'all are listening to some really bad sources of biblical information. Ezekiel 22, her priests have done violence to my law and have profaned my holy things. They've made no distinction between the holy and the common. Neither have they taught the difference between the unclean and the clean. They have disregarded my Sabbath so that I am profaned among them. Nothing new under the sun.